love this technique I'm going to show you today. One of the things that a lot of people worry about is if they're asked a question by the audience to which they do not know the answer. It could be, uh, it could be terrifying if you don't know how to deal with it. Well, it goes like this. Right? I want you to imagine I'm just getting a question from the audience, uh, the audience over here, and I don't know the answer. So the question person stands up and they say, uh, "Excuse me, uh, blah, 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 ABC." All right, and I, I'm like, I don't know the answer to it. So what am I going to do? I'm going to go like this. Okay, that's a great question. Does anybody know the answer to that? Sure, George. And you call on George. George may know the answer. All right. He pro if he does, you go terrific. Thank you, George. Does that answer? And, and, and turn back to the first person. Does that answer your question? Terrific. And if it's a, if it's appropriate, you say give them both a round of applause. If it's a, if it's a quiet meeting, you say thank you very much, gentlemen, like that. All right. Let's go through that one more time. The person asks the question. You don't know the answer. What you do immediately is to say, "That's a great question. Does anybody know the answer to that?" All right. And if nobody knows the answer, then you are honest with the audience. You say, "You say, that's interesting." I actually don't know the answer to that either. It's a great question. Uh, let me find out the answer and I'll get back to you this afternoon. And then you get back to them. Everybody knows that not everybody knows everything. So it's fine to not know the answer from time to time. It's much better to be straightforward and honest with the audience. And if you're embarrassed that you don't know the answer, here's what you say. You say, that's a great question. You know what? I'm actually embarrassed that I don't know the answer to that, but I'm going to find out and I'll get you the answer this afternoon. So, uh, just for fun, if you've ever had a moment like that for your homework today, put it into the, into the comments, into the blogs. I'd love to hear about some of the experiences that you've had. And the trick is to go back, look at these experiences, and laugh at them. We don't want you holding any bad emotions about them. It happened. Stuff happened. Happens. It happened in the past. Look back, laugh at it, and move on. And now you have a great technique for handling it should it happen in the future. Uh, if you have, by the way, uh, mild fear of public speaking, please keep working with this video blog, uh, the tips and tricks and techniques that we have for you here. If it's uh, a more serious fear, then you really do need to get serious help.